Hey, what's up everyone? We're back with another tutorial in Cubase 10.5. I hope with everything that's going on, y'all are staying safe, but that you're not afraid to speak up for things that you believe in and are passionate about. And one thing that I'm passionate about is reverb. And one thing that I believe is that Cubase has pretty good stock reverbs. So let's take a look at all four of them today. Let's get into it. <laughs> All right, so we're here in Cubase, and reverbs are often used on vocals, snares, synths, and string sections, but you can use them on just about anything you want. A lot of times you'd set up an FX track, like I have an FX track here, that is Vox Verb, so you'll send all of your vocals and backups to the same reverb, so they all sound like they were recorded in the same room with the same reverberations. However, I'm gonna be using them on the track for the purposes of this tutorial, so you can understand what they sound like. I'll have a snare sample, uh, it'll sound like this. And I kept it very dry with not a lot of reverb so that you can hear what the reverbs do. And then I'll have a very dry synth that I'll test out all the reverbs on. So that's what we're working with today for our sounds. Now, we're going to talk about the four reverbs in Cubase. There are four reverbs. Three of them are algorithmic. One of them is convolution. And I'll give you a one-word uh, review for each reverb. So let's take a look at the channel settings. And on this snare, I have four reverbs. The first is Roomworks SE. That is the stripped down reverb that comes with Elements all the way up to Pro. That's the only one you get in Elements. Uh, the one word review is simple. This is simple to use, easy. It sounds pretty good too. The next one is Roomworks. The one word review is feature rich. Uh, I know that's kind of a bastardization of the one word review because it's two words, but it's hyphenated, so it still counts as one word. The next one is Revelation. That's an, uh, that's an algorithmic reverb as well. I would like to call that one Lush because I think this is one of the best sounding reverbs. And then the last one is Reverence, which is a convolution reverb, which uses impulse responses to craft the actual sound of the room. And this one is not as versatile, but it is the most realistic. So let's get into listening to some how some of these reverbs sound. We'll start with the snare sample, and we'll start with Roomworks SE. I'll open it up. And as you can see, it has very few controls because it's the simple one. Uh, the main controls you're looking at are pre-delay, mix, and time. So the time is the amount of time you'll have a reverb tail. The mix is the amount of send, basically, you would send if it, it were on an FX channel. And the pre-delay is the amount of time before the reverb kicks in. So let's listen to it at these settings. Here's the dry, and here's the reverb. Now, if we uh, lower the mix, you'll hear less reverb at the same time. Now, if we uh, increase the time, you'll hear a longer tail. So even with these few controls, and diffusion also uh, has an effect. Let's lower the diffusion and listen to it. There's 50, there's zero. And then pre-delay is sort of like uh, if you're sitting in an audience, you know, when a snare gets hit, sound has to travel a certain amount of milliseconds to get through the air to you. So you could increase this and you'll hear a bigger difference. You don't want to do it too much because it'll sound like a cha-cha, cha-cha, but we'll hear it. See what I'm saying? Ba mm. uh, so, I mean, I like to keep my pre-delays relatively low because it's weird when they're super high. And then these two, the low level and high level, they're basically filters. Now you can either use these, uh, or you can sort of put EQs bef after your reverb to sort of tamp them down. So that's Roomworks SE, that's the simple one. Now let's move to the feature rich one, which is Roomworks. This is the old school style algorithmic reverb within Cubase. Uh, you have the same uh, time and mix, uh, you have the same time and mix parameters, but you also have size uh, and width, and that's very nice. So like, let's take a snare. If you wanted to have a lot of reverbs, we'll have a big size, long time, a decent mix. Here's what it sounds like. And then we'll unbypass it. Now, if we lower the width, you 
you can sort of hear it closing in but still uh, keeping the same tail. Uh, so that's a nice thing, the width function and the size function, so we can lower the size. Or get, raise the size. And that's basically the same as RoomWorks SE. The two things that give this uh, secret weapon are its envelope function and this efficiency function. So the envelope, you can have attack and release. So if we want a little, like 100 milliseconds till the reverb kicks in, and then we want it to decay at 200, and we have a long mix and a little bit more time, uh, check this out. Here's the envelope at zero. Now here's the envelope at 100. Now we'll dial it back to 50. So there's a lot of shaping you can do about when the reverb kicks in and when it delays with the envelope with your attack and release. And the other secret weapon of RoomWorks is this efficiency knob. So we'll turn this down so you have the full effect of the reverb. This efficiency knob was in times of less CPU power uh, to use the algorithm more sparingly. But now it sort of works as a low fi function for your reverb. So we'll listen to it at zero. Now the higher you turn up your efficiency, the more low fi it'll be. So here it is at 50. Now here it is at 100. And you can sort of hear that digital artifacting, but that's kind of a cool low fi vibe that you can get out of this plugin that you can't get out of any of the other plugins in Cubase. Uh, the efficiency knob gives you a low fi vibe for your reverbs. Also, no other plugins have this envelope, which is pretty nice to have to dial in precise times for your, your reverb tails and your reverb attacks. So, moving on, let's take a look, we'll bypass this, at Revelation. So Revelation, the big thing with Revelation is that you can independently af affect your early reflections and your tails. And it actually shows you a waveform as if it were a convolution reverb, but this is actually an al algorithmic reverb. So let's listen to it bypass and then turn it on. And the word for this one was lush, because this is, I think, the best sounding algorithmic reverb in Cubase. Now, you have three early reflection models, hall, chamber, or studio, and you can affect them independently. So we can turn down the size on our early reflections, and you'll hear it. And then the tail is where you get the most juicy reverbness. Um, you know, turn down room size, main time, And this also has a width function, so let's turn up the room size and main time. And turn down the width, and you'll hear it really good here. So it'll be focus center channel, or you can have it be nice and wide. Uh, it also has filters here, and you can adjust the mix and level. Uh, but what I want to focus on is this modulation. You can activate it, and we'll hear what it sounds like. And the modulation will sound even more affected on a synth patch. So let's go to our synth here and look at Revelation and turn it on. Now the modulation's on, let's make it 0 0.5, 3, th a third of a second or something. Turn it off. So it gives you a little chorusing effect within this plugin. Now you could either use it that way or you could put a chorus effect on your plugins before Revelation. But if you wanted to add a little bit of chorusing to your reverb, you have that option within Revelation. And the last reverb we're gonna look at is the curiously named Reverence, and I'll stick with the synth for this. Um, Reverence is a convolution reverb, so it actually uses impulse responses to mimic a room. This is great on string sections, and it's also great on voice, but uh, here's the interesting thing, like. Uh, convolution reverb is what they use, or convolution technology, is what they use for impulse responses 
for guitars. And I am a full bore fan of using impulse responses instead of algorithmic speaker cabinets for your amp simps because that's the sound that you're used to hearing. The interesting thing about convolution reverb is that in recording, you're probably more used to hearing algorithmic reverb on recording because that's what's been used more predominantly for the last 30 years. However, let's take a listen to this, uh, we'll listen to the dry synth, synth sound. And then we'll turn on this New York City church and it's a impulse response from a New York City church, 100% time scaling, 100% mix. Now I feel like since this is convolution, there's fewer uh, parameters that are worthy of adjusting, but you know you, the mix is the big one. And uh, you can import your own impulse responses, which is kind of nice, with this import button. Uh, you could even import guitar cabinet impulse responses, and I'll show you how to do that. So I have VST amp rack loaded with the stock Marshall, uh, just what, how it opens, just with everything at five. I've turned the master up a bit, let's turn it down. <laughs> Okay, that's what it sounds like. These cabinets, it's a plexi algorithmic approximation, and you can affect it with microphones, you know, switch to the SM57. But you can actually load impulse responses of cabinets into Revelation. I, I would suggest you use a purpose-made plugin like Nadir, which is free, but well, I'll show you how you can do it. Uh, you can open up Reverence, you can hit Import, and Here's a Neumann U87 on a Marshall cab. We'll do it two inches away on the cab. Here, the, here's the impulse, impulse response from a Marshall cab that I used with the import function. I'll bypass it. So here's a no cab and amp rack. Here's the algorithmic cab. Here's no cabinet. Sounds terrible, but here's a convolution cab. If you turn off auto gain, it'll be at this real level, which of course is peaking, so I'll have to turn it down. So that's a, a impulse response as opposed to using algorithmic caps. Now you could use uh, rev, you could use reverence as your cab loader. I would suggest you use something like Nadir, but that's just showing how convolution works for uh, cabinets and guitar amps, in addition to being a reverb. So if you have uh, impulse responses for cabinets or reverbs, they'll load into Revelation, and it'll sound realistic. So this has just been a quick walkthrough of the four reverbs in Cubase. Number one, Roomworks SC. It is the simplest to use. It sounds pretty good too. Number two, Roomworks Standard. It's like Roomworks SC, but it has a few extra controls like width and diffusion, and especially an envelope and the efficiency control that gives you a lo-fi reverb sound. You have Revelation, which is the third algorithmic reverb that sounds lush and beautiful. And then you have Revelrince, which is the convolution reverb where you can add impulse responses. So I hope you found this informative and helpful. Take care of yourselves, everyone, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.